Also this morning, TikTok is facing new scrutiny. The White House throwing its support behind a bipartisan bill that could be used to ban the popular app. You guys mentioned TikTok. Um, the latest, we've been talking about this so much, but there's another attempt to ban TikTok here in the United States. And this attempt may actually gain more traction than the previous ones we've seen. It's a bill being introduced by Republican lawmaker, um, and it is expected to advance in Congress, and it could amount to the best chance so far that we've seen of having a broader ban. So both Republicans and Democrats in Congress have decided to ban TikTok. Here's what they had to say. Today, everybody's talking about TikTok and the ability of that platform to be used by the Communist Party both to take on data, but also potentially as a malign influence and propaganda tool. It's safe to assume that if the CCP is willing to lie about its spy balloon and cover up the origins of the worst pandemic in 100 years, they'll lie about using TikTok to spy on American citizens. This legislation builds on those efforts by establishing a comprehensive process within the Department of Commerce to mitigate, and which ultimately could lead, I would, I would add, to banning uh, platforms like TikTok. Mobile app TikTok, what we're saying is from six nations, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Venezuela, and Cuba, if it is a, a foreign-based technology that poses a national security risk, we're gonna give the Secretary of Commerce the ability to do a series of mitigation up to and including banning. And in the case of TikTok, uh, we've got a entity that has about 100 million Americans a day spend on average 90 minutes. I bet you wish you had viewers that would spend 90 minutes a day on CNBC. Uh, they are collecting data. They have the potential to collect data. They have the potential of the Communist Party of China to manipulate the videos so that it is a propaganda tool. And uh, I think it is, it is a national security threat. Now, before anyone gets political out there, this is not a political issue. Even though the Biden administration is trying to ban them now, Biden and the Democrats, previous it was Trump and the Republicans who were trying to ban TikTok. Check this out. Now to President Trump's threat to ban TikTok, the widely popular but Chinese-owned video sharing app, out of fear that the link to China poses a security risk. ABC's White House correspondent Rachel Scott with what TikTok and its users are saying tonight. Tonight, TikTok is firing back after the president told reporters on Air Force One, we're banning them from the United States. Reaching 100 million Americans, TikTok is known for its short videos and viral dances. The app stars in disbelief, like Michael Lee sending this message to his more than 35 million followers. I'm financially supporting my family because of this. I, I, I'm literally starting my career and inspiring people and changing people's lives because of this. So naturally, your question should be why. Why are the Republicans and Democrats wanting to ban TikTok? They... They can't agree on anything, but they all agree on banning TikTok. Why? Well, let me explain how Facebook has convinced them. So to really get to this, let's start with a quick history of Facebook. Facebook took over MySpace. Remember, MySpace was the platform that was the pre-Facebook Facebook. It had all the users. It was popular. Then Facebook came along and totally took all of MySpace's market share. Well, that's essentially what TikTok is doing to Facebook. Check it out. Pew Research survey uh, which was done uh, between kids uh, of the ages of 13 to 17 across the U.S. found that 67% uh, say that they use TikTok. 95% use YouTube. I'm pretty sure everybody uses YouTube at this point. But they say that only 32% of teens reported using the standard Facebook app. Now, that is a dramatic drop from when they did the survey in 2014 and 2015 and found that 71% of teens said that they used the app. That was even more than what they then, then say use TikTok now. So Facebook is not stupid. They know that TikTok has been eating away at their market share and now they're down to 30 something percent, right? TikTok is essentially eating them alive. So what can Facebook do to stop TikTok? Well, here is what Facebook decided to do. A public relations campaign in which they put out this story. Now listen to it carefully, listen to the story carefully. They put out this story about TikTok and the Chinese Communist Party. Tell me if it sounds familiar. Social media company in the world trying to take down one of its biggest competitors. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, hired a digital consulting firm to launch a campaign to turn the public against TikTok. That's according to a new report in the Washington Post. The consulting firm called Targeted Victory. 
The Post reports it's routinely advised Meta officials over the years. According to internal emails reviewed by the Post, a targeted victory director told staff that the group needs to get the message out that while Meta is the current punching bag, TikTok is the real threat, especially as a foreign-owned app that is number one in sharing data that young teens are using. Targeted Victory, that consulting firm, reportedly planted op-eds and letters to editors in local and regional newspapers all across the country, including the Denver Post. One letter raised concerns about China deliberately co collecting behavioral data on our kids. TikTok, owned by a Chinese firm. According to the Post, Targeted Victory didn't stop there. It reportedly pushed news stories blaming dangerous online trends on TikTok. Remember the one, the slap a teacher TikTok challenge? TikTok reported that challenge didn't even exist on its platform, remember? But according to an investigation by the Gimlet Podcast Network, the rumor of the viral trend actually started on Facebook. That Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, hired a Republican consulting firm to try and turn the public in the United States against TikTok. TikTok, of course, is the new kid on the block, exploding in popularity in the last couple of years, more popular than Facebook and Instagram, its photo sharing app, something Facebook is not happy about. The Washington Post getting access to some internal emails. So now we know who the culprit is. Facebook years ago put this story out that TikTok was Chinese owned, stealing data, blah, 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 right? Facebook was like, yo, we gotta stop TikTok. And now we're at the point where they couldn't stop it during the Trump administration because a federal court stopped TikTok's ban under Trump. Check it out. Decision to block the Trump administration from enforcing his ban on TikTok is appealed by the Justice Department. In a court filing yesterday, DOJ attorneys said they were appealing the September 27th preliminary injunction. The injunction followed TikTok's request for emergency intervention as the Commerce Department sought to ban TikTok from app stores in the U.S. So let's recap what happened. First, TikTok comes on the scene and takes massive amounts of market share from Facebook. Facebook then responds by instituting a public relations campaign to destroy TikTok's reputation, calling them spyware, Chinese-owned, national security risk, the same thing that we are hearing from the politicians. Now, also, Facebook has very deep pockets, so you see they're throwing a lot of cash around, trying to get the word out that TikTok should be banned. The Trump administration heard Facebook's call and tried to ban TikTok through the laws that were around when Trump was in office, but obviously that didn't work. That's when you saw the federal court throw it out and say, you can't ban them this way. And now, a couple of years later, Trump is gone. The Biden administration says, okay, well, since we don't have the authority to ban TikTok based on the way the law was previously, we can ban TikTok if we pass a new law. And that's essentially what they're doing. They're banning TikTok based on a new law that they're going to create. And Facebook already has an alternative that looks exactly like TikTok, that feels exactly like TikTok, but is owned by Facebook. Check it out. In some of the world's most influential social media platforms, responding to backlash from users, influencers, and even celebrities. Facebook has always been about friendships and connections. Instagram lets you see your friends' pictures, but now those experiences may be changing. Facebook is testing a major redesign, showing posts based on your interests and an algorithm instead of posts that connect you with your inner circle. And Instagram drawing the most attention. The app originally known for artful photos now focusing on video. Introducing a full screen feed where photos and videos take up the whole screen and including recommendations of other users' posts in your feed as well as friends and contacts. Now, powerful users are pushing back. While people love video, they kind of say there's like a time and a place for that. Some point out the app now feels more like TikTok, the trend-setting platform popular with younger users. Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian, who holds some of the most popular Instagram accounts, both reposted this meme to their hundreds of millions of followers, imploring the platform to stop trying to be TikTok. User reaction was so strong it forced Masiri to respond. There's a lot going on on Instagram right now. We're experimenting with a number of different changes to the app. And so we're hearing a lot of concerns from all of you. I need to be honest. I do believe that more and more of Instagram is going to become video over time. So there you have it. The celebrities on Instagram are saying, hey, this is becoming more and more like TikTok. Yeah, yeah, because that's what the kids like. And they'll rather have a 100 million users that TikTok has than just holding on to a couple of old users who like pictures. So we're here at the end of the video. And the question is to you. Do you think 
Facebook's plan is working? This is the long game. This is taking about four or five years, but Facebook put this out there and now TikTok is about to be banned by the US government. Do you think Facebook is lobbying or paying these politicians to ban TikTok? I really, really want to know what's up. My name is Nate the Lawyer and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. If you made it to this part of the video, you're here. Let's do it. Thanks for watching how TikTok is going to be banned. Later.